hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are all well and thank you for joining me again if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the end of the video if you've enjoyed it and also the like button too and if you don't already follow me on instagram my handle is at lydia jane tomlinson there's a lot more fashion and lifestyle content going on over there so definitely go and follow me i'll leave the link below so today's video is not unintentional but basically i started off with a few pieces that i really wanted to share with you and i knew i wanted to create this video of spring favorites and then i kind of realized there was a bit of a theme going on in that everything was neutral so i thought i'd kind of make it into a bit of a spring neutrals kind of favorites video it's not really a haul it's just things that i've been either wearing on repeat or new things that i'm really really loving and i just thought i'd share them with you and as with all of my videos i try and make everything really accessible really easy to wear and pieces that you can even if they are slightly more expensive things that you can incorporate into your wardrobe over and over again and i hope i've achieved that today so i'm going to get cracking straight into it and begin with what i am wearing so let's start with the watch so this watch is from vincero and vincero very very, very kindly sponsoring this video today. So if you've been a follower of me for a while, you'll know that I am quite a watch lover. And I kind of think accessories add that element of luxury and this watch is no exception. Vincero is such a great band in that it's really affordable. This online retails for $129. It's also free worldwide shipping. So that's a real bonus if you're in the UK like me. And it feels and looks so expensive. And I think that's partly due to the attention to detail that's in the watches. So on all the back of them it says Veni Vidi Vici which means I came I saw I conquered so that's a little Latin phrase that they put on the back of the watches as a little daily reminder that nothing hard work ever comes easy Rome wasn't built in a day and it's kind of a nice little reminder to you now keep going and push through whatever you're going through and whatever you're doing and I always think little things like that little touches on your outfits or on jewelry and watches are really sentimental and special so every watch comes with that on the back and they also do custom engravings if you want to add a little bit of extra detail in especially if you're buying it as a present for somebody so basically there's six collections for men and four for women so you can buy them as a gift and I have a promo code which is Lydia15 and that is for everything and it gets you 15% off your entire order so that's great if you are buying it as a present for somebody and then you can get it engraved as well I think it's a really nice little touch so this here is the little box that it comes in I'll show you a bit closer up just feels really nice really effortless it's a really elegant brand I think and that's the same for the actual watches themselves over 15,000 five star reviews so I guess that sort of speaks for itself but it just feels so luxurious I think I mentioned before that this is the Eros mesh rose and white and the reason why I love this is I personally prefer rose gold over silver golds and rose golds are sort of my bag and I love this shade and I actually think it goes so well with the pieces that I'm going to show you throughout the haul it goes really really nicely with neutrals but also with blacks like my t-shirt just one of those watches that will blend with everything you wear like the watch face is really big and bold and statement but also kind of blends in with everything and that's something I really really love so this is a piece that I definitely can't can't wait to start wearing throughout the spring summer it's gonna look really good with all those neutrals and nice springy colors and again with white it's gonna look so nice with a little white dress in summer so love this Vincero piece and don't forget to use my promo code Lydia15 I'll link all the information below if you are looking to buy a watch for yourself or for somebody else so my next piece I want to talk about which I'm also wearing is this mango flecked blazer I've had so many compliments and comments about it on um, Instagram because I've worn it a few times there. I've linked it a lot and I can see from the tracking and statistics that so many people have swiped up to buy it because it's such a good blazer. It's not that cheap, it's about £100, I think it's £99, but for me, it is so worth the money. It's basically the spring summer alternative to my black blazer, which I wear to death. So it's double breasted, which again, I love. It's quite long and that's another reason I really like this. I don't really like short fitted blazers, so definitely more oversized. I got this in a size medium. I think they've restocked it a couple of times, so keep checking if your size isn't there. I think smalls are definitely available at the moment. I probably could have got away with a small, but I usually go for medium in mango. It's a really lovely sandy colour as well. I've worn this in so many ways. I think it's going to look really nice with like a long midi dress 
as well as denim jeans, some cream jeans that I'm going to show you in a minute. It's good with leather pants too. So there are a multitude of ways that you can wear this blazer. And also it's really comfortable. It's like quite, it's, it's wool. So it's quite warm, but not heavy. Somebody asked me the other day if it was quite thick and a bit too warm for spring, but absolutely not. It's kind of lightweight. It kind of strikes a balance between just warm enough and still lightweight for spring. So definitely a really great investment piece. So if you do follow me on Instagram, you might be a little bit sick and tired of these jeans, but honestly, I love them to death and I cannot preach about them anymore. They're the And Other Stories straight leg jeans in an off whitey shade. They're a really good shade of white because I don't like stark white jeans. They're slightly more creamy and I've just worn them pretty much with everything. I think they'd look really great with this outfit today i might wear them I'm going to london tomorrow so i might wear them tomorrow they're great in the evening with a more dressed up blouse and heels and they're just a really great fit they're not too loose they're not too tight they fall really well on the ankle i'm about five foot six and they also fit really well on the waist i got these in a size 28 and like i said i've just worn them to death they will go with so much in your wardrobe and if you didn't know already then white jeans are going to be a really big trend for the new season and they're just a really easy way to update your wardrobe into a bit more of a spring style instead of wearing black or denim jeans just switch them up for some off-white ones and it instantly updates your outfit so next are these Zara sandals. Oh, let me unhook them. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen me wearing these a lot already. So they're a small heel height like that, and they've just got some crossover straps. Really minimal, really simple. But the reason why I like these is that they go with everything, and they look so, so modern, but also quite classy. White sandals are gonna be a huge trend for the new season, and pretty much every high street shop like Mango and the Story Zara, they're all doing a version of these shoes the only thing I would say about this is they slip off a little bit so make sure you kind of pull it and tie it on the tightest section so they don't slip off when you're walking but other than that they're really comfortable really easy to wear these were 50 pounds but again you can get so much wear out of these I think they'd be really nice for a wedding as well because the heel height's not too high and there's nothing worse than being stood up at a wedding all day and your feet killing you so definitely a really good heel height if you're going to be out for the duration of the day I get a lot of questions on Instagram what shall I wear for a wedding, what shall I wear to a christening, things like that, all the races even, and this is a really good heel height for those occasions. And they'd look nice for some casual drinks just with a pair of jeans, throw these on and a blazer, and they look really, really chic and stylish. So definitely a spring must have. So next is a bit of something different. So this basket is from HomeSense. So there's a little bit of interiors going on here. I would really like to do maybe a bit of an interiors haul one day and probably include this in it. But this basket is from HomeSense. I got it the other week and it's just kind of a bit of a decorative piece more than storage to be honest. Although they are great for storage. I've got some more in the wardrobe here. But this one I just have out next to the desk as I'll show in the cutaways. Great for just popping your slippers in or some pillows and these kind of rattan style baskets are really in at the moment and I think they're just a really easy way to update your interiors they're kind of the equivalent of a plant I'd say because they bring that like earthy feel to a room and I find that quite transformative when your room is just when you've got no like outside you've got no plants or anything and the more natural feel just I don't know, I just think there's something nice about that in a room. I think this was about, uh, it was between eight to 12 pounds. I can't remember exactly what I paid for it, but they had loads of different styles in home scents. I love, love, love home scents. I've got a lot from there. I will try and link one similar below, but definitely pop into home scents to have a look for something like this. And again, they'd look great in like a bathroom or something like that, maybe um, with some rolled up towels inside there. So just a really affordable way to update your interiors. So next is this beautiful leather bag from Pauline and they very kindly gifted this to me. So this is a leather bag and this is the beautiful box that it comes in. So this is the numéro un. Sorry for the bad French accent. I did start a French degree actually. I changed it to an English course. So my French accent's kind of faded away a little bit. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is the Pauline bag and it's absolutely gorgeous. I've had so many compliments on it already. Real leather, as I say, it's a really nice size. Gorgeous, gorgeous little pocket. Nice back pocket here. I wore this on Saturday. We went out for Mother's Day and I wore this then with this blazer actually and a black t-shirt. 
I basically wore this but with some black leather trousers and I just found it a really handy size and it even fits my camera in which is great for when I'm out and about. You'll have seen these on Instagram I'm sure because they also do a mini one which is like a handle that you can just slip it over your wrist and it's just like sits on your wrist like a wrist bag I suppose and it's like a half moon shape I think um, but they, those are going around on Instagram and they also do a really nice basket bag which I don't think has been restocked yet so these are French obviously and they retail for 330 euros so it's quite expensive but also if you want a kind of luxury bag people ask me if they don't want to spend a fortune on a bag you know some designers are thousands but if they want what you call it an entry price I don't really like that phrase but a more affordable designer or luxury bag then this is definitely one to go for and I feel like they're a brand that are going to be more and more popular um, as time goes on as well because their pieces are just so chic and classic different as well this is really unusual but also goes with everything and you know that is perfectly my style so next is this slightly sandy, almost peachy shade of Knit from Under the Stories and this is £35 and I got this in a size, let's have a look, size medium. I usually always go for medium so I'm about a size 10 and I always think medium sort of better, slightly more oversized. So they do this in a range of different colours, they did it in a pistachio one and I really really wanted it but it had sold out and I think it's still sold out now but this shade is really nice and I am actually looking to do a spring knitwear video because I think it's still not warm yet, we still want um, a layer but we want something a bit more springy than our usual winter heavy chunky knit and this fits the bill perfectly so it's quite affordable for under the story, £35 is probably one of their more affordable pieces and again it's just going to go with everything it's going to go under this blazer going to go under black blazers under trench coats uh, with jeans with midi skirts i actually have a video it probably yeah it'll be up by now it's on my instagram tv and i'm wearing this with a long midi zebra skirt and it looks really good so definitely going to be really really versatile piece and i think in this lighter shade as well looks a bit more formal and you could probably get away with it for a slightly more evening or more formal occasion if you dressed up with heels. So I definitely think I'm going to get my wear out of this a lot. So finally I wanted to talk about my slippers which also fit the neutral trend. So these are from a brand called Sheepskin World and I literally just googled them because I'm looking for some slippers like this. I had a pair at Tim's which I got from ASOS and they don't do them anymore and I really really like them and they're this pretty much identical to this and I found these online, thought they were, I think these were £35 but for me I basically live in slippers because I work from home so I always have these on they're so so comfortable but they also feel a bit more like shoes they're quite substantial and that's what I like when I'm working from home I don't want slippers like I've been wearing those boot slippers and I just feel a bit unproductive in them I know that sounds stupid but these are a bit more like shoes so they're nice kind of in between you can still wear them in the house but they feel like you're a bit more put together and dressed if that makes sense at all for some slippers it does to me anyway but yeah they're really really snuggly and warm and i quite like that they're backless because they're not going to be too hot for spring so i'll try and link this pair below but yeah it was from a brand called sheepskin world and i have been living in these so that is it for my spring neutrals favorites i hope you've really enjoyed the video as i said before don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up if you did enjoy it i'm sure you'll see me in a lot more neutrals coming up in the next few weeks so definitely stay tuned for that lots more exciting content to come i'll hopefully see you in the next one bye